what's up? My name is Becky Fiddler here to give you another muscle functions video of the week. So last week I started on the hamstring muscles. I started off with the biceps femurs. So this week I'm going to go over the second hamstring muscle, which I chose to do the semitendinosus. So I will go over the origin insertion functions and exercises of this muscle. So to start off, I'm going to start by giving you the location of this muscle so you know where it is before giving you any functions or exercises after that. So the semitendinosus starts or origins on the ischial tuberosity or the sits bone or your butt bone, whichever you prefer. So this muscle then inserts onto the anterior medial surface of the tibia just beneath the condyle of the tibia. So that's just beneath the knee joint the thicker part of the tibia or the knuckle part of the tibia on the inner side of that tibia on the side. So I will show you where this muscle is, then I'll go over the functions or actions of this muscle and then some exercises. So the semitendinosus, like I said, origins on your sit bone or your butt bone. Then it inserts onto the anterior medial surface of the tibia just beneath the condyle. So here's your condyle. So it's just beneath that on the anterior medial surface. So it's basically on the side of that tibia bone. So now you know where this muscle is, I can give you the functions of this muscle now. So you're looking at a few different muscle functions. You're looking at hip internal rotation, hip extension, uh, you're looking at posterior pelvic rotation. You're also looking at knee flexion and internal internal knee rotation when it is flexed. So some exercises that you can do for this muscle is stiff-legged deadlifts, good mornings, leg curls. Those are just to name a few, and you can also create your own if you want to. Um, now a few pointers for you, the best way to work the semitendinosus is to try to cancel out as many muscles as you can. Now the hamstrings and the gluteus maximus does work together when doing stiff legged deadlifts. So I don't find that uh, as very um, isolating uh, if you want to do just the hamstring muscles. Now the best way I find work the hamstring muscles is your leg curls. Okay, you can do standing, sitting, seated, seated, sorry, and lying or lying, whichever you prefer. Now, when doing the leg curls, a lot of people like to keep their foot dorsi flexed, okay, which is like this, and they'll bring their feet in just like this. Okay, a tip because whenever you do the leg curl like this, that means you're including the calf muscle as well. So to cancel out the calf muscle and solely work the hamstring muscles, you'll want to, dor I'm sorry, <coughs> plantar flex or point your toes, okay? So instead of doing this, you want to do this. Okay, so that cancels out the calf muscle. So you want to try to cancel out as many muscles as you can, but again, you can't cancel out all of them and just work solely one, because remember, the body wants to work in sync. It's not going to work one muscle, then the other, then the other. They're all going to try to work together in order to do something. So I hope you're able to use this in your future training, and I hope you've learned something, or if I seem too confusing, you can feel free to ask questions. And you can review this video as many times as you want, just so that you know what you're doing, I guess. So I'll see you guys next week. Talk to you guys later.